let the music play. That's right, it's time for me to unbox my monthly mystery subscription, mystery vinyl subscription, from theretro.co.uk. So, those of you who know the channel, see me unbox a few of these now. These are a mystery vinyl subscription box. This comes in at £29.95 a month. Free UK shipping, thankfully. And this is free vinyl records every month. They're mystery records. The only control I have over it is I get to choose minimum of three genres. Uh, you can choose as many genres as you like, but the minimum you can select is free, which is a shame because I would like to select just metal. <laughs> but let me get on the video, go through the vinyl from last month's, then open this up and show what this month's. Howdy. <laughs> Welcome all you awesome people to the Geeky Heaven channel. I am Glenn, the Geeky Heaven. Mentioned in the intro what it is. So, my free picks. I changed my free picks before my last box arrived because the original picks weren't that good. My main pick is Heavy. Now, Heavy covers in brackets, it says both punk and metal. Now, I would rather it just be metal, because that's what I'm into. Then I selected 80s rock, because I was hoping to get some 80s metal <laughs> from the 80s rock. Uh, and also, I selected prog rock. That's what I changed to, because originally, originally I chose indie, and I realised that was the wrong genre for me. So, last month's box. I received... What did I write this down? FYFE control. Now... I received a good box in terms of, I got a few coloured disc variants and limited editions, value wise was fantastic. This is indie and I I wrote down one word and that was rubbish. <laughs> I mean it is probably alright but it's not for me, I did not enjoy it. So that was really disappointing. Uh, Judah and the Lion, Pep Talk, this is an American alt folk band and I wrote down because I, I this wasn't too bad actually it's not something it, it's not something on my list though because it's just an American it's an alt and folk band and I didn't have any of those genres selected um, I love the intro I wrote down it was like five minutes of just awesome music just playing away uh, no no singing just pure instrumental and it was really good it was different but not my usual genre I did enjoy it and I will keep this but it's not something that I would go for myself and it's probably not something I would put on particularly very often. Uh, and the last one I got was Broadway Calls and uh, this is a self-titled punk rock album. Uh, I hadn't heard of any of these groups before. Uh, yeah I mean as punk rock goes it's all right but I'm more a metal fan than punk rock. It's not really it's not something that I, I can't see myself keeping this. So I was very disappointed in all three of my vinyl from last month. I'm hoping this month is going to be something more, at least a metal record in there. Because uh, I've had a couple of metal records from them which I absolutely loved. I'm hoping for a good metal record. Uh, the 80s rock I'm hoping to be something good that I enjoy. And I'm intrigued in seeing what the prog rock is. If it's no good, this may be my last box. Although, this box is incredibly late. This is January's box and it arrived on February the 14th. And the money comes out for this on the 15th, and which I hadn't recorded by that time, so I've already paid for the next month's box. Let's see, let me just crack it open and we'll see. I'll slide them out. Oh, sweet, you just can't see any. They normally give you a packet of sweets in there as well, which is weird. Uh, new year, new music. Your January 22 curation has arrived. Uh, there's just like a little welcome little leaf that they've put in there. Let me just grab, buy it at random, see what we got. First album, Mike Oldfield, Moonlight Shadow, The Collection. All right, I'm trying to think of my, I'm sure I know Mike Oldfield. I know are the Bells something. What do I know Mike Oldfield from? Multi-instrumentalist Mike Oldfield is one of the most significant figures pop yeah. Tubular Bells, that's what I know, yeah. Okay, so what is this? Uh, this is not exactly video, Tubular Bells, very best selling sweets in the time. All of his following albums take a similar single path, his performance at the blah 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 blah. This collection brings together many of his most loved works. Oh, okay. 
So this is like a collection of Mike Oldfield stuff, and it's got tube of the, it's got tube of the bells on it. So, okay, I may like this. I may listen to this. Tube of the bells. It's got Amarak Part One, uh, Mike Oldfield's Stream. Uh, and then side B, you've got Moonlight Shadow, Sailing, Slipstream, Guilty, Good News, In Dulce Jubilio. When is this from? This is when was this released? 2019. Is this prog rock? It's not 80s, it's not metal. Is this prog rock? Is Mike Holfield prog rock? Somebody let me know. I don't, I'm really confused by prog rock and by this, by this arriving. Okay, I'll give that a listen. I think I might enjoy that. And we have something separated here. Oh, what is this? Molly Hatchet. This looks like a metal album to me. I don't know about you guys. I haven't heard of Molly Hatchet. But it's an awesome looking dude on a horse. And down here, it's got uh, copyright 1973. So it's not 80s, it's definitely, it's definitely this is early metal. Wow. Let's have a look at the back of this. I don't, I don't know if it's group. Uh, Jackson, Florida in the mid 60s. While the rest of the world was glorifying the Beatles and surviving the Souls version, there were numerous hopeful young musicians hanging out and jamming at the Forest Inn on the west side, Greenfield Stables, or downtown the now defunct comic book club. Uh, mentions bands such as Leonard Skinner, Molly Hatcher. I, I don't know who Molly Hatcher is. I'm really interested. Uh, there's a sleeve for it. I'm really interested in reading this. That's the group on the back there. Picture of them. Um, so have a track this on here, does it? Oh yeah, top here. So, Bounty Hunter, Gator Country, Big Apple, The Creeper, Price You Pay, then side two, Dreams I'll Never See, I'll Be Running, Cheating Woman, and Trust Your Old Friend. Okay. I'm interested in this. That, just that artwork alone makes you think, yep, this is right up my street. So, Molly Hatchet. I'm very intrigued. Uh, I think I'm going to enjoy I'm, So far, I'm pretty happy with both of them. Uh, let's see what the third one is. Let's see what this is. This is Billy Joel, an innocent man. Billy Joel? Including Tell Her About It, Uptown Girl, Leave a Tender Moment Alone. Billy Joel? Bill, Billy Joel? What? Billy Joel, I know the name Billy Joel. I'm terrible. Billy Joel, is he just, is this, is this what, is, what is this? 1983, is this supposed to be 80s rock? Is this class of rock? Is Billy Joel rock? Extreme soft pop, maybe. I thought it was more, I thought it was more poppy. I thought Billy Joel's stuff was pop. I don't think I'm gonna enjoy that. I'll listen to it. I don't think I'll enjoy it. Very, very interesting mix this month. Um, what do you guys think? Comment, like, share, subscribe. All normal YouTube stuff. Billy Joel, I don't think I'm gonna like Billy Joel. I can't think of any of his music right now top of my head. I'm just I'm putting a blank. Uh, Molly Hatchet, not heard of Molly Hatchet before, but like I say, the artwork makes you think this is right up my street. And Mike Oldfield, I know the Jubilee Bells, which I really enjoyed. So I am looking forward to listening to this. I think I may enjoy this as well. So I think I've got two albums that I was happy with. Hmm. Depending on next month, I may stick with this. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna hear the guys. I'm the Geeky Heathen. As always, much love, and until next time, stay awesome.